This is the Phoenix from Phoenix Rising Taros. Here to do another monthly energy update for the sign of Leo. Just keep in mind these are general readings. They're not going to resonate for all of you. But for the ones that it does resonate for, please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel. For those of you interested in a personal reading with me, all the information will be in the description box below. This is going to be for the Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs of Leo. So let's jump into this reading and see what is coming true for the month of October for you guys. Spirit messages for my Leos for the month of October. Alright, so at the bottom of the deck, we have you in a little despair. We have you in a lot of anxiety and stress at this point in time. Uh, you're at that place where you feel hopeless. It could have to do with a marriage or a long-term commitment. It could have to do with a relationship. But it seems that family and friends are probably getting involved in a relationship or a connection. Or marriage for some of you. And someone's opinion is being val validated very well by either you or your person. And this is causing you a lot of stress and anxiety. But I do see you moving to a different direction, a different mindset, or probably a different location. But there is relocation happening, a new beginning and a new journey. That is what is happening here. Alright, so let's see what is coming true for the month of October for my Leos. Spirit messages for my Leos for the month of October 2020. Alright, so the confusion that you were feeling is going to subside in the next few days. Now you're going to be withdrawn and still stay to yourself quite a great deal. But I think for most of you, you're going to be enjoying the fact that you're single and independent. Okay, so you may be involved with a third party. It doesn't have to be. Some of you are trying to build a company or start a new job, but there is some some type of collaboration you're trying to do with someone at this point in time. Now, in the long-term relationship, the marriage or the commitment that you were in that is causing you a lot of distress, you can't seem to find the recognition with this person that you're looking for. You're trying to have victory with them, but it's not happening in this relationship at this point in time. So you have decided to strategize, move slowly towards this person to try to get them back into a relationship. Or you're trying to center yourself and to be around your own family and friends more at this point in time. Now you're waiting on this person to return because you do see great potential with them. And you feel like they are definitely going to return to you. But there was a change in perspective after some time of silence. Um, communication may be opening back up between you and this person very soon. You could be dealing with a Pisces. But I do see this person changing their opinion about the whole situation. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra or Aquarius. But this person is in their emotions a lot. <coughs> Whatever happened between you and them, they are not making conscious, conscientious decisions about the relationship because they are too much in their own emotions. They want stability. They want long-term commitment. 
For some of you, they even want an engagement. But they want you to be committed wholly and solely to them. But I think you are enjoying your singlehood. You're enjoying your independence. You're enjoying the fact that you can do what it is you want to do at this point in time. So you're holding back from them and you're not really trying to pursue anything with them. You know what they want. You have acknowledged what it is they want. But for right now, you're not willing to give that to them. Because of an argument or fight that happened in the past about you or them having other options, which may not have been so, but it could be. But there was a lot of confusion surrounding the breakup of the both of you. Yeah. Okay. But I do see communication opening up between you and them very soon. It would be a lot of exchange of messages. For some of you, it will be angry messages. For others of you, it will be trying to figure out what happened in the relationship. You could be dealing with a Sagittarius, doesn't have to be, but they could be very closed off to having a reconciliation with you. Um, they may not want it at this point in time. So communicating with them might be uh, really harsh and very strained at this point in time. But they do see you as someone that is very attractive or handsome, someone that lives their life very close to the edge. Someone that is very passionate about the things that they care about. So they see you. But are they accepting what it is you're offering them? No, not at this point in time. They're ignoring you. They're pretending not to understand what it is you're trying to communicate to them. And they're pretending that they are confused about the whole situation. But they're not. But I think you're coming to them truthfully, trying to communicate to them, trying to say how exactly you feel about the whole relationship and trying to be very honest with them. But you're trying to put the work and effort into the whole situation, but I don't see them reciprocating you because we have the six of pentacles in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. So I think you are the one still trying to reconcile the situation, but they are the ones still trying to pull away. For some of you, it could be because of a third-party situation. So for or others of you, you're just going out there celebrating with friends, living your best life, you know, having fun. Because you have made this offer of love to the person. Could be a Scorpio, Pisces or Cancer you're dealing with. You have offered them this relationship. You have offered them love and they are ignoring the offer that you're giving to them. Because they are acting like they don't care. They don't care about your feelings. They don't care about the relationship. You're not grounded and stable enough for them. For some of you. But you are standing your grounds. Because you know what it is you want from this connection. And them making demands on you is not really helping. But I do see communication opening up between you and them. Harsh communication though. But it is communication. Alright. Because you may not want this to end or you may not want change in the situation, but that is exactly what is going to happen. Now, the longer you hold on to this not being an ending or, or they are holding on to it, however it goes, switch it if the roles are reversed. But somebody is holding on here and not actually letting go. Could be a Capricorn some of you are dealing with, but I do see that you're trying to let go of the obsession and the toxicity of the whole relationship, which is good. But you're looking at this person through social media. You're probably talking to your friends, their friends. But you're doing, you're trying to do some undercover investigation here with this person. Because you do know that this relationship is a soulmate connection and they love you as much as you love them. But there seems to be a miscommunication here between you and them. Could be a Libra or Taurus you're dealing with, but this person is not behaving in any way like an Empress. You don't see any good potential with them at this point in time. You don't see being in a relationship with them to actually bring you anything good. 
But you are stressed out about this person or this individual or this situation. But I don't think you're giving in to their demands at this point in time because you're unhappy without them. But I don't think you're giving in to their demands because I think they're looking for a reaction and you're trying to not have a reaction as regards to them. Some of you, you're dealing with a Taurus, but you want something that is solid, stable, grounded, and committed. You see long term with this person, you see marriage, you see commitment. But I'm not too sure if that is the way they feel on their end. But I do know that they are quite emotional about making decisions when it comes to you and this relationship. They're not really making conscientious decisions. It's like they're just making decisions based on how they feel or on a whim. But you do love them and you have communicated this to them. You have offered them a relationship, a new beginning. But I think they are the ones that are not reciprocating you or trying to have a relationship with you. Yeah. But you're trying to manifest this because it's something that you truly want and you desire. So you're trying to manifest it. You're trying to make decisions based on what you're passionate about and hold to those decisions. Which is good. But you're no longer waiting around and hoping that this person returns for most of you. Because the ups and downs of this reading, it just gives me a sense of frustration. You really do want to be in a connection with this person, but it's like you're getting fed up to the ending up of the month of October. And you're going to just give up on the whole waiting for this person or waiting for them to accept your offer. Because you are hurt about the situation, you're heartbroken, but you are going to make a decision very soon to take a different path. But it doesn't mean you love this person any less. You do still do feel like they are your soulmate. It's just that at this point in time, once they do not reciprocate you, you're going to get to that point of just walking away. Yeah, because if they don't accept this new beginning in love with you or passion with you, you're going to walk away. Because you're going to eventually find out the truth about a situation that probably they were sneaky and deceptive and probably sneaking around behind your back. And any hopes of you having a connection or commitment with this person will definitely be shattered. You're going to open up about how you truly feel about it. For some of you, it's a Virgo you're connecting to. But I think for most of you, you're going to find out that this person may have actually been with someone else. It is going to hurt you. It is going to make you feel worthless. It is going to make you feel like you're doing something wrong. And the only thing you feel like you could do is move on from this person. So for those of you that this resonates with, this is the energy that you're going to be in. A player energy. You're going to just want to rush in, give people passion and leave. This will be the end result when you do find out about this person because you're at that place where you're going to be very hurt. You're going to be very hurt and you're not going to want to commit to anyone for a while. Because you're trying to move on from this specific relationship and this specific person. But it is proving to be really hard for you to do. Trust right now for you is going to be a very big issue. But I do see that the reason why the person isn't reciprocating you is because they're being sneaky. So, you're going to have no other choice but to move on. Spirit, what is the best advice for my Leos in this connection? <coughs> Alright. So, you're about to start to communicate with this person in the first few weeks of October and you're going to finally accept the ending between you and them 
but by the second week in October you're going to actually meet someone or is someone that you knew from your past but they are going to want to start a relationship with you now I think you are in this energy where you just want sexual gains for right now and I think this person is going to want a relationship so you are both going to be on two different levels and two different mindsets all right so this is what I have for you guys I hope it does help have a good month.